I guess I would, uh, I would be remiss if I didn't recognize the efforts of the administration in the city of Providence, uh, along with the uh, city council, and uh, along with my colleague uh, uh, and my counterpart on the other side, uh, Austin Charlie and Tommy Simone, uh, for the work that uh, they did on the, uh, uh, the TSA. Uh, if you remember, uh, last year we passed that in the Senate, I sent it to the House, it uh, arrived at the House very late in session, and we ended up adjourning. Uh, I felt there was a need, a sense of urgency for that, because I didn't want this particular issue to fall by the wayside. And I felt that the Commission needed the tools to attract uh, developers and uh, companies into the state. And I thought that the tax stabilization agreement, because of the uh, commercial rate of the city of Providence, uh, would be that type of avenue. Um, and it was done probably with a, a much period of time when all the parties sat down. I thought it was a great cooperative effort. And the council ended up extending that to the capital, what was formerly the capital setting commission as far as that, that process is concerned. Uh, so I think what this has done is probably given uh, developers a, a sense of predictability, and that's what developers like. Uh, they like to know what they're facing, they like to know what they're coming into, they like to know uh, that our, our roads in good condition. Uh, uh, do we have any kind of relief that they can come to uh, bring them in and locate them here? And they want a sense of predictability as to what they'll be facing. Uh, so I felt this was a, a tremendous effort uh, on the part of the council and the administration in Providence, uh, along, with, along with the state. And uh, I think what you're going to be seeing in the very near future, if we haven't started seeing it now, uh, with the Wexford, is uh, uh, a lot of interest in that particular area because of the passing of the years. Civilization in the city of Florence.